Pyongyang has carried out a second missile test in less than a week. Just after 7 a.m. local time Thursday, two short-range ballistic missiles were launched from North Korea's east coast, travelled 450 kilometres before landing in the sea. CNN's Paula Hancock following developments live from Seoul this hour. Um, Paul, let's just start with what was fired in terms of technical details. Were these new and improved missiles? Were they, def were they different in any way from what we've seen before? And how does this tie in with the weapons test over the weekend? Well, John, that's what weapons experts are looking at right now, obviously waiting for any images that we get from state-run media. But they're trying to figure out whether or not this was a new kind of short-range missile that had been tested. Uh, now, we do know, as you say, they, one went about 420 kilometres, the other 430 kilometres. So they are within the short-range missile uh, sphere, but they are ballistic missiles, which means that they are against UN Security Council resolutions. They do violate uh, the rules against North Korea. So certainly this is a step up from what we saw last weekend when that was a weapons test. It wasn't uh, a, a banned weapons test. And at that point, the, the Biden administration really downplayed it, saying uh, that they didn't see it as, as changing the dynamics too much. And, and it was really at the low end of the spectrum of what North Korea could do. So really what we're, we're seeing here is, is a step up from North Korea. They are now going to the short-range uh, ballistic missiles, which they know uh, that, that the U.S. will have to react to in some way. We've already had reaction uh, from the region. Japan's prime minister says that the, this is a threat for the peace and security of Japan. Uh, here in South Korea, they've had a, an emergency National Security Council meeting, uh, and they call this of deep concern. And, and both of these countries have uh, increased their surveillance uh, on the area as well. Uh, and also what it has done is that it's ensured that North Korea is, is front and center once again, just ahead of the US President Biden's uh, press conference on Thursday. John. Okay, so if we're back to business as usual, as it, ha yeah, as it appears to be, it looks like North Korea has got plenty of room to escalate uh, these uh, weapons tests. And that, I guess, is the big fear that if the Biden administration doesn't respond in a way that Pyongyang is happy with, then we will see more weapons tests, maybe you know, escalating up to a, some kind of nuclear test as the ultimate act of defiance uh, by the North. Is that sort of the trajectory, the trajectory we are on right now? It's certainly what we have seen so many times in the past. This is quite often cyclical. We know that the U.S. has reached out to, to North Korea. We know the Biden administration, Secretary Blinken, just last week in the region, admitted that they have been reaching out since mid-February, but have heard nothing back. We know that uh, through state-run media, North Korea has said there's no point talking until the U.S. changes its hostile policy. We've even had uh, Kim Jong-un's sister, Kim Yo-jong, uh, who is often brought out for the more stern words against South South Korea uh, and the US saying uh, that, that this uh, that the US should uh, effectively tread very carefully so at this point it does appear as though we are on one of these cycles where we could see increasing severity of these uh, these launches and these missile tests it's not clear at this point uh, what North Korea's intentions are though it's slightly different in the fact that this time around the US does appear to be willing to talk but we are still waiting for that North Korea policy review from the new Biden administration. It's what every incoming U.S. administration does. It reviews what the previous uh, administration did. But at this point, most people were waiting for that, but North Korea clearly couldn't wait. Even though the White House says it is imminent, it will be released soon. Paula, thank you. Paula Hancock's live in Seoul. Appreciate it.